Good morning, everybody. Today is Saturday, October 5th. Today is our last day of hiking through some national parks before we head home tomorrow. Now, that doesn't mean we're done with the vlog after this because tomorrow we'll be in Salt Lake City for a good part of the day before our flight, because our flight's at five in the afternoon. So we'll probably still have a little bit of vlogging to do there when we meet up with Sean and some other friends in Salt Lake City. But today we're going to go to Canyonlands, which is about 30 minutes outside of Moab. So we're almost to the park now. We just got a little bit of driving left to do. And basically our plan is to go to the visitor center to sort of see what hikes we can sort of fit in today, because we definitely are gonna have a bit of an earlier day than some of the other parks, because we have to actually do some more driving in the evening, because it's about three hours away from Provo, where we're staying. It's a little suburb just south of Salt Lake City. So we're not going all the way up into Salt Lake tonight. But it's still a three hour drive, so we need to make sure to be awake for that. And then also we are probably gonna be waking up early tomorrow morning as well. So we still wanna get a good night's sleep. So we'll see what hiking we can do. Now, Canyonlands is a very large national park. It's actually divided into three different districts, I believe. So the part we're going to is called Island in the Sky. Uh, one of the more famous things with this area is it has the Mesa Arch, which is a very popular spot for photographers to take pictures of at sunrise. But as you can see, it's already almost the middle of the day. It's about 9.30 in the morning now. I guess that's not really the middle of the day per se, but it's not, nowhere near sunrise. <laughs> and we'll see what hikes there are in that area. There's also an area called the Needles, which is supposed to be really good for hiking as well. And then the last area is called the Maze, and you actually need a permit in order to go into that area. So we're just doing Island in the Sky today. I think that's the most popular area overall as well. And we'll see what we get into uh, once we get to the park. So we'll see you guys there. All right, everybody. So we are on our first trail of the day. This is a very short trail to Mesa Arch. So the arch is especially popular amongst photographers at sunrise because as the sun is starting to rise, it actually illuminates the underside of the arch with a nice orange glow. But I heard it draws a lot of attention. So there's a lot of photographers here really early, like four or five in the morning before sunrise. So we weren't gonna get up that early for it. We just figured we'd drop by now and take a look. It's only a half mile round trip hike. So it's a pretty easy hike for us to get started. We were recommended three hikes at the visitor center. So we'll try to do all of those today. We'll see you guys at the arch. everyone as you can see behind us we made it here to Mesa Arch it was a very easy hike it's only a quarter mile one way so half mile total round trip uh, the arch is very beautiful it's really nice because you can sort of see a lot of the mesas and buttes sort of through the arch so we try to get a couple of pictures of us under the arch to the side of the arch and uh, overall I think that we got some good pictures and the arch is very nice to see so like I said it's definitely very popular for sunrise but even here in the middle of the day, it's very nice and the crowds are pretty manageable. We sort of formed a little line to get our picture under the arch and we were able to get in and out pretty quick, get some good pictures from different angles. And now we're going to head back to the car to head to our next hike, which is the Grand View Overlook. So we're gonna head that way now. Hey everybody, so we are now here on our second trail for the day. This is the Grand View Point Trail. It's sort of like a rim trail around this canyon that we're on. It's not really, I guess it's not a canyon, it's more like a, a butte or a mesa. But we are going to be hiking along this rim trail. Uh, it shows some great panoramic views of the area down below. And it's really pretty so far. So this trail is about 
two miles round trip. It's a one-way hike and then we just come back up the same way, one mile each way. So it's a little bit longer than the first trail we did, but we're going to head on down towards the end of the trail and see what we see along the way. We'll catch you guys probably at our next trail after we finish this one up and we'll see you guys then. everybody so we are now here at Grand View Point and the view is quite grand <laughs> the uh, hike wasn't too bad for me um, but the Becca what did you think since you're more afraid of heights than I am it was, uh, it was There's yeah lots of stairs. yeah you're pretty much in the middle of the <coughs> outcropping I guess uh, so there's definitely areas where you can get close to the edge and it's a pretty steep drop so definitely be careful for that but so Becca, who again is afraid of heights, said it was fine. So I think it's pretty doable. It was pretty flat for the most part. There are a couple of stairs here and there, but the elevation change overall wasn't too bad. I didn't think, I didn't feel super tired out. I guess it's more of right now, there's, there's not that much shade along the path. So definitely make sure you have enough water, but we're going to just sort of enjoy the view here for a little bit and then head back to the car to go to our third trail for the day. And then we'll catch you guys at that trailhead. So Becca and I are here at our third trail of the day here in Canyonlands. This trail is the Upheaval Dome. So the trail itself has two overlooks that you can go to. The first one is a 0.8 mile round trip, and that's the one we're going to be doing today. You can also do one that I think is a total of 1.8 miles round trip to go to a second overlook. So it's a little bit longer. So the trail is fairly short, but you can see there's a good bit of stairs. So it's still listed as a moderately strenuous hike because there's a hundred foot uh, elevation change mostly with stairs i believe so we're going to be taking frequent breaks i'm sure as we're climbing up these stairs and hopefully we get some good views of the canyon down below when we get to upheaval dome so we will see you guys up there <laughs> So we've made it up to the top of the trail here at Upheaval Dome. This is just the first observation point again. So there's another one half a mile away from where we are now. We are not doing that one though. This hike was very short. It was again, only a four tenths of a mile total so far, but it's like not straight uphill per se, but it's all stairs. It's really steep. So we were a little bit winded coming up to the top, but it's a pretty nice view. It's sort of a crater formation that apparently has a mystery as to how it was formed originally so it's a it's a really nice view down into the crater and now we're going to walk back down which means the trail will be much easier going back to the car since it's all downhill for us and then i think we have one more hike to do today we're going to do something at the it's called the aztec dome is that what it's called oh uh, yeah the aztec butte or aztec butt uh, so that's what we have left for today and then I think that's pretty much going to be it. We might do a couple more like scenic overlooks as we drive back towards the entrance. But we'll see you guys at the uh, trailhead to the next and last trail that we do today. So we'll see you guys there. 
All right, everyone. So we are here at our final trail for the day in Canyonlands. So this is the Aztec Butte. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. That's what the ranger said, at least. Becca says it's butt. <laughs> So she could be right, I don't know. Um, but basically this is our last trail for today and where there's there's a fork a little bit ways down, maybe 0.3 miles ahead where the left branch, that's the one that we're taking, is another 0.2 miles. And it leads to some ancient Pueblo uh, granaries. So we're gonna go check those out. I think the fork to the right goes up the top of the butte so you can actually get some nice panoramic views of the area down below. But we're not gonna be doing that one today. We're just doing the lower fork so we're going to catch up with you guys at the uh, granaries. We'll see you guys there. Pueblo granaries in the Aztec Trail. So in the guide, they said this was a moderately difficult hike with some sandstone scrambling. And I was like, oh, that probably just means we've got to walk over some, you know, some sandstone like we have for a couple of other trails, but nope, you literally have to scramble through. There's some uh, pretty big elevation changes where you have to just sort of leap up almost. I had to help back up one of them. So, and it's uh, it sort of goes both ways. When, you were, when we were coming up, we had to go up a big area and then back down another area. So it's a, uh, it was a challenging trail. I wouldn't say I'm like exhausted or anything. I'm not tired, but it's definitely something that you want to tackle knowing uh, <laughs> that there is going to be some scrambling involved and they mean it. But the uh, Pueblos are pretty nice actually over here. They're in really good condition. You can see the one behind me. There's another one over here behind Becca. They're uh, pretty nice. We got a couple of pictures over here and we're just resting up before we walk back to the car. And that's going to be it for our trip here in Canyonlands. We'll give you our final thoughts once we get back into the car and head back up towards Provo to go to Salt Lake. So we'll see you guys there. Alright everybody, so we've just left Canyonlands National Park and we're on the road heading towards Provo, which is again a suburb south of Salt Lake City where we will be meeting up with Sean tomorrow. So we were here in the Moab area for two days to check out two parks. We checked out Arches and Canyonlands, so I guess we would sort of, we could sort of recap what we thought of both of the parks. So Becca, what did you think of both Canyonlands and Arches? I enjoy both parks. They were nice hikes, lots to see, many different landmarks and landforms. Very scary if you're afraid of heights, some of the hikes. Be careful of the wind, wear plenty of sunscreen, and have uh, plenty of water. Which of the two parks, Becca, would you say you enjoyed more between Arches and Canyonlands? I don't know. They both have the good things and bad things. Arches had a nice arch and saw a shooting star. But in Canyonlands, I saw some Pueblo granaries, so it's about equal. Yeah, so they're both, they were both awesome parks. I'm glad we went to both. And honestly, they're both parks I would return to. Um, between the two, personally, I think I like arches better only because it's more bite-sized I would say we were able to go through most of the trails and arches in the one day whereas Canyonlands is humongous so we did Island in the Sky which I felt like we were able to do most of there are definitely some longer trails for the more intense hikers out there but uh, I feel like we were able to see most of what we saw but then there's still two other districts to the park so it's like we didn't really see a lot of the park and it's really spread out as well. So Arches just has this one nice scenic road that you drive down and there's little turnouts. So uh, you can easily see all of the really scenic areas of the park. 
and then they still have some really fun hikes like i really i personally like the delicate arch hike becca did not like it as much because it was it was really windy and there's that section with a pretty steep drop off um and i also at canyonlands i really enjoyed the uh the aztec hike that we just did because that one was a little more adventurous as well with the scrambling and and also another nice thing with that trail is it's not as popular as say like the mesa arch trail or the grand uh the grand view trail that we did it was so there was there was a lot less people i think we were pretty much the only ones on it going up at the time and then as we were leaving there was like one or two other people going up so it's a it's a much less used trail so if you want to get away from the crowds that was a good one to do as well but they're both great parks though uh, i really enjoyed both and becca says she really enjoyed both as well uh, like she said it's definitely very important to make sure you come prepared with uh with water and with sunscreen and everything because especially here in canyonlands they only had like one water station i think arches only had two so no food, no gas. yeah no food or gas or anything in the parks uh, we you'd have to go back into moab for either of those now arches is much closer to the city so that's definitely not a big deal to get food but we haven't eaten lunch at all today from canyonlands because it's like a 37 minute drive back into town so that's something you'll want to make sure to prepare is have some food on you we had some snacks at least but we're definitely pretty hungry for a real meal so we're going to look for that on our way on the road now as we head up north towards salt lake city and We'll have a short episode, I'm sure, for that when we hang out with Sean and some friends in Salt Lake City for the day before our flight. And then when we get to the airport, we'll have a full recap clip where we talk about all of the different parks and sort of the ups and downs of the trip and our favorite things and, and some stats from our trip is like how far did we walk and drive, that sort of thing. So we'll have that a little bit later in the next episode. Thanks very much for watching this episode today, and we'll catch you in the next one. Cheers. Cheers.